Hey guys, I hope all of you are doing fine. And today in the second class, we are going to study about distillation and volatility. <clears throat> okay. Uh, a lot of people don't usually believe me that this is the only class I personally prepare for to deliver this class to the best of my uh, knowledge and capabilities. Because it doesn't matter which stream of perfumery or flavor you're connected to. Everything is based on this class, today's class. In French style perfumery, the same class is explained as triangle of notes. But triangle of notes doesn't mean anything. It's just some, you know, as effective and as good as it is. It doesn't give the other details. So distillation and volatility is today's class and which is very important for you. Okay. Let's start with understanding a very basic steam distillation. Okay, please don't think that this is connected to something which you don't have to know. That is a very wrong assumption. Okay, this is very important because even after five years from now, if you're learning, for example, even after five years from now, you will still learn a lot from today's class. That's how important it is. this is, right? So what is the basic distillation? Right. What our ancestors, our forefathers, what they used to do is basically citrus smells, citrus smells, which are the most volatile and which are, which spread easily like lemon, lime, bergamot, orange. These things make us feel happy as, as human beings, all of us. These things make us feel happy and they are very volatile for others to know that we are all happy and to make them happy as well. That's the magic of citruses. So citruses technically is the first material which we, we have used in perfumery and flavors as well. And these are the first materials our forefathers have used it. But in modern days, thanks to all the knowledge and all uh, the details which we have, we are just able to extract the things which we need and take the best part of the oil out. Right? <clears throat> so in technicality, from the same tree, or from the same plant, whichever way you understand it. We get something from, do accept uh, my apology for uh, my drawing skills. We get something from the leaves. We get something from the flowers of the same plant. For example, Neroli, one of my most favorite notes in perfumery, Neroli. Neroli comes from the same orange tree. So we are distilling. We will talk about distillation in one minute. So from the same tree, we are taking the flowers, we are taking the leaves and any other material and we are distilling it. Right? What does that come into perspective? Let's try to understand that. This is very important for you because later you will realize what you actually need can be obtained very easily. Okay. Instead of depending every, uh, on the things which are always provided to us by manufacturers. Well, that's a, a little later in the classes for un, us to understand. So, what is distillation? Steam distillation, for example. 
I have also, uh, uh, there is a class in which I have tried to explain some basic distillation on YouTube, open for everybody. So what we do is we take the leaves of a plant or a flower, we put it in a kind of a big cooker with water, we collect the steam Okay, this is the, all, all the things you need to know. But what happens after this is for very important for you to understand. So we, we, will, we are going to put the leaves here with water. We are going to start boiling these things. Right. And eventually, uh, well, this is the steam distillation process, which it will be cooled down and collected as in the combination of water and oil. Right. So the water when oil will eventually separate and we will take the oil out. That's the simple way to distill anything, leaves or flowers or whatever it is. This is the way steam distillation works. Now to put the same thing into perspective. The process of distillation works in a mechanism in which distillation actually happens in many different layers. Right? From the same molecule, I mean, these days we just uh, combine the materials and make it in the laboratory. But this is very important for you to understand when it comes to volatility and what it is. Okay. These are very, very, very simple and very basic things. But please pay some attention. You just need to remember two very strange terms. CISQ and MONO. Okay, cisquiterpenes is the heavier molecule, monoterpenes is a lighter, more volatile. Volatile means it is going to spread and evaporate quite easily. Okay, there are two magical materials that is which you will understand when we will we will uh, touch uh, rows and formulas geranyl acetate wet ether in my personal experience in nearly 22 years these two are the best top notes which you can give to your perfume this is connected to rose, but it will take any material. Forget about rose. Though geranyl acetate is one of the only most powerful materials used for rose today. But geranyl acetate will act as a top note into anything. Which we will of course understand. Try to understand the whole class of today. Vetitha is also a very, very, very powerful uh, vetiver, vetiver kind of a note, very volatile it is. But if you only use these two materials, then what will be sticking around? If you are just using mono or top notes, what about the rest of the smell? You just apply it and it will disappear, isn't it? You need something to give structure to the smell. That's when we need heavier molecules, which are called as CISQ terpenes, which is the basis of your attar course. CISQ terpenes. Okay. That means from 
the same for example the usually we give the example of geranium right if you're putting geranium uh, flowers or geranium leaves whatever and we take the volatilities of it out in the same way you will need you will get geraniol which is an alcohol a heavier molecule will be a cisq terpene a lighter molecule will be a mono terpene and in the middle will be alcohol and you can say acetates in a way as well but the ones which are below are cisq terpenes which are balsamic materials okay and this is the basis for your course atars have balsamic materials that is the advantage of an atar perfumer okay balsamic materials are not stable in alcohol or ethanol because they will become milky but atars the magic of what a luxury perfume oil is the balsams or cisco terpenes which of course we have to know which is in later classes so cisco terpenes is what is the heavy heavier molecule which is there at the bottom and then we have the alcohols which are a little more volatile and then we have the top notes those are the monoterpenes so if we are understanding correctly this is possibly the best explanation i can give to the triangle of notes okay don't worry about these things the whole course is based on these things there is a lot of time for you to for us to understand what a heavier molecule is because this is the basis of our course cisco terpenes and balsams is the basis of a luxury perfume oil which cannot be used in a spray based perfume but try to understand the what our uh, french society of perfumers what they explain when it comes to the triangle of notes is the same thing which we understood today that is the heavier molecule cisq terpenes alcohols and acetates alcohols and acetates which will of course form a kind of a top note and of course we have like what i mean by it is uh geranial acetate it's an acetate it's a floral rose acetate it will also act as a top note am i making myself clear no let's start from the beginning the heavier molecule is the only thing which is going to hold the smell otherwise it will literally not smell like anything plus the monoterpene materials are so sharp that it is not advisable to be healthy on anybody's skin okay something as basic as bergamot can literally rip your skin off that's how powerful it is if it's not used properly right so we need something to hold the smell and to make sure that it sticks around that is when the cisq terpenes the understanding of what we understand as a fat or heavier molecule cisq terpenes come in, into the picture but just a cisq terpene or just a musk i'm sure you guys have used galaxolite or i'm sure you guys have smelled a balsam called as labdanum it's just like a lump of smell am i making myself clear 
is just like a heavy lump of smell of no use to anybody unless it's burned maybe. But to give structure to the same smell, we need something to take that smell out. That's where alcohols, more volatile material like alcohols, acetates, much more volatile material like monoterpenes, top notes, and these things are used to take the richness of the heavy molecule out. Right? I'm sure I'm clear now. So, point being, the triangle of notes, our traditional method of understanding, the Jean Cols method, or watch the French freestyle perfumery, or the triangle of notes, is the same thing which we understood in today's class. Okay, That is, the heavier molecules, which will be there sticking around, alcohols, acetates and top notes. The rest of the things are only present to take the heavier things out. Right. And eventually, when we will start doing our exercises, you will understand why this is the only class I prepare and I make sure that I give the best only to understanding this class. Because the rest of everything becomes very easy if you understand this very correctly. So it's the same thing as triangle of notes. Right. <clears throat> now, to put the things in, in a little more perspective, when we started distilling things and we started knowing what is coming out from geranium, we get geraniol, eugenia, eugenia eugenol. And then we understood what the chemical structure of those things are. We understood all these things. That's not important for you. This is a creative field. You are a perfumer. Right? Don't worry about those things. But when we started knowing the molecular structures of materials which we were able to distill, we started reacting these materials with more common materials. Okay, don't worry if you're not understanding anything. You will. I will not leave you till you understand it. Okay. When we started distilling things, the same thing, putting the leaves and burning the leaves, taking different materials of different volatilities out. So these things, A, B, C, D. We eventually, in chemistry, we understood how to make this A in a laboratory. How to make this B in a laboratory. The distillation is a very old process, hundreds. The, the oldest generations and our ancestors and our forefathers had their own way to distill things. Right? So distillation is actually, though still practiced in many ways, with the distillation, the molecules which we discovered as human beings, we started making those molecules in laboratories. How? Okay. You need to know this. There is no other way. Okay. How? We understood that we are a carbon-based life form. Carbon-based means C. That's the only thing you, know, you have to know. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Where is the rocket science in this? What is the rocket science in this? Right? So, doing the same traditional thing, taking the molecules out, studying their structures, just knowing that their chemical structure, we just have to add these materials, react to it, and we will get the product. The same thing which happens through distillation. In the 21st century, that's how advanced we became as human beings. So, when we knew the chemical structure, we started 
we started reacting the same chemicals with other materials like acetic acid, salicylic acid, which gave us acetates, salicylates, These acetates are very important for you. Very, very, very important for you for a perfumer. That's the reason why we have understood today's class. Okay. So after distillation, taking and knowing the structure of the molecules, we were able to make these molecules in laboratories. And then with, of course, many reactions to very basic materials like acetic acid, salicylic acid, we got acetates and salicylates, which are very widely used in perfumery today, acetates especially. Okay. So this was our class, today's class, of understanding what distillation and volatility is how we were able to distill things, take the different structures out, react them with further things. There shouldn't be any doubt why, what is acetate and why, why do we use it? Acetates is, an acetate is actually the heart of the heart note. That's what takes the, the fatter molecule and the smell of it and gives structure to it. And that's what we understood in today's class. That is distillation and volatility. Right? I'm going to see you tomorrow with the third class. Take very good care of yourself. Bye-bye.